Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And I have some awesome announcements to tell you about this week, including Amazon OpenSearch Serverless is now generally available. There's also another cool announcement for OpenSearch. It now allows you to perform an enhanced dry run of configuration changes to your OpenSearch cluster. Porting Advisor for Graviton is now generally available and AWS announces Amazon provided contiguous IPv6 CIDR blocks. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. Amazon OpenSearch Serverless is now generally available. And if you haven't used OpenSearch before, it's a service that allows you to perform interactive log analytics and real-time application monitoring. And you can use it to visualize your application data and create dashboards to really understand what is going on inside your applications. And it is based on Elasticsearch. Now, before this announcement, using Amazon OpenSearch involved creating an OpenSearch cluster consisting of multiple EC2 instances running worker nodes and master nodes. And when designing a cluster like this, you really need to understand your capacity requirements. But with this announcement, there is now a serverless option, which is a much simpler way to get started. It means that you don't need to think about infrastructure requirements, and it's also great for variable and unpredictable workloads, because being serverless, it's gonna scale automatically, and it will even allow you to run petabyte scale workloads. But the best thing about it is that being serverless, you will only pay for what you're using instead of paying for multiple large EC2 instances. And there's also another cool announcement for OpenSearch because it now allows you to perform an enhanced dry run of any configuration changes to your OpenSearch cluster before you go ahead and apply the changes. And this applies to OpenSearch clusters that of course consist of multiple EC2 instances. So you can now validate configuration changes before applying them, and the OpenSearch service will check for validation errors, and it will also let you know if the change would require a blue-green deployment. So it's gonna tell you if you would need to deploy new instances in order to apply the new configuration, or if the configuration can be applied to the existing instances in your cluster. And I really like this feature. It's gonna be great for those of us who are a little bit risk averse when it comes to making changes to the configuration of an open search cluster. And it's also gonna help us to avoid applying changes that are gonna break our cluster. Porting Advisor for Graviton is now generally available. And Graviton is of course the name of the latest AWS processors that are custom built by AWS and they are optimized to deliver the best price and performance for AWS-based workloads. Graviton processors are available in a variety of different EC2 instance types. However, as these processors utilize the ARM64 instruction set, which is the language that is used to tell the processor what to do, there can occasionally be some additional steps required to port applications that have been developed to run on x86-based processors because x86 uses a different instruction set. And this is great that AWS have acknowledged that for some people, there are additional considerations that need to be addressed, and they have provided a step-by-step -step transition guide to help support customers who are planning to port existing applications to Graviton-based instances. And finally, AWS announces the general availability of Amazon-provided contiguous IPv6 CIDR blocks. What a mouthful. But what does that actually mean? Well, you can now use the IP Address Manager, or IPAM, in your AWS account to create contiguous IPv6 CIDR blocks that can be associated with your VPC, allowing you to create sequential CIDR ranges for your VPCs so that you can implement CIDR ranges that make logical sense for your environment. And if you no longer need your VPC and you delete it, then you will still own the CIDR block and you'll be able to reallocate it to another VPC. Now, previously, the only way to get contiguous IPv6 CIDR ranges like this was to bring your own. So this new announcement is gonna make it a lot easier for customers who are looking to utilize IPv6. Well, that is all for this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Take care of yourselves and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.